I'm Dana Tyler. Alice Gaynor is off tonight. NYPD investigators changed tactics tonight in the search for clues to who killed a woman in Queens. Police teams scoured the area all day where the body of Karina Vetrano was found. Vetrano was sexually assaulted and severely beaten. TV 10 55's Valerie Castro is live in Howard Beach with new information. Valerie. Police are using simple hand tools like machetes to hack their way through the tall grass and more advanced technology like drones to search the area for evidence. Police today called the suspect a public threat and say they desperately need the public's help to find the killer. I don't know if it was uh, somebody that was from the neighborhood or a drug addict or someone outside of the neighborhood. We're just really, really very scared. Like the residents of Howard Beach, police themselves seem to be stumped when it comes to finding the person who killed 30-year-old Karina Vetrano. We believe there's a severe community threat. As you know, right now we think it's random, so we don't believe it's anybody in her life that's created this. Vetrano was found strangled and sexually assaulted near her Howard Beach home after she went for a run by herself on this unpaved trail to Tuesday evening around 5. Police say they are desperate for tips from the public. They've only received three calls to their tip line, none of which have provided much information. They're not very informative, uh, uh, informative and they're all anonymous. As police grow desperate for information, their search for evidence in the area where Vetrano's body was discovered has expanded and grown more thorough. Large equipment was brought in to cut back the tall grass. Teams were deployed with rakes to search through the weeds. Even the FBI has been called in to provide special equipment. A city official says drones like this one we spotted near the crime scene have been deployed. Police are collecting trash found in the area to test it for evidence. Sources say investigators are still hoping to find DNA on Vetrano's body that could lead to a suspect. This one woman put up a ferocious fight uh, right to the end. Uh, so she, she was uh, beaten quite severely, which suggests that she put up a big fight. Sources say she was found face down, her teeth broken, her clothing in disarray. The investigation has clearly overwhelmed the Howard Beach community still trying to cope with the unthinkable crime. A murder like this uh, that right now is unsolved, it, it's something very scary, and I think that people should take precaution. Back out here live, you can see where police have set up the command post for the crime scene unit. Police sources tell us investigators are checking in with area sex offenders and parolees. They're also questioning day laborers who do construction work here in the neighborhood. The reward in this case for information has now increased to $10,000. Reporting live in Howard Beach, Queens, Valerie Castro, TV 1055. All right, Valerie, thank you. Now to the latest in the fight against Zika. Air spraying began today in a Miami, Florida neighborhood where at least 15 cases of locally transmitted Zika have been reported. Late today, Florida's governor said a portion of the Zika zone has been cleared. And researchers are now looking to start human trials for three vaccines that protected monkeys against the infection from the Zika virus. TV 1055's Christine Sloan with more on the Zika fears. Pregnant women in our area on edge because of the Zika virus. Many canceling vacations to Florida and the Caribbean. I'm actually from Puerto Rico too, so I have family that are there that I want to visit and I, I can't go. Some airlines, including United, offering refunds to Zika-affected areas because of the CDC travel warnings. Let me check the CDC website. Dr. Robert Ambler says while Zika-carrying mosquitoes only found in the U.S. in a small North Miami neighborhood, everyone needs to be cautious, especially in their backyards, to prevent mosquitoes not known to transmit Zika in our area but could be capable of it from breeding. That means getting rid of standing water everywhere from trash cans to lids. It could be in as small as a bottle cap turned upside down that has a little bit of water in it. They can breed in there. Clean gutters and keep screens on windows. Toss plates, spots that collect water over time. Could be old tires. It's not just standing water that attracts mosquitoes, but also grass and weeds. They use these shady areas to rest on hot days, so keep everything trimmed. Do you do anything to stay safe from mosquitoes at home? You know, we're big proponents of just spraying. 
Again, no mosquitoes in the New York area found to carry Zika. Not advised now, but if it comes to it, there are mosquito fogs you can use outdoors. Always read the labels. Mosquitoes don't travel far, only 400 feet from where they're born. Staying vigilant can keep them away. In White Plains, New York, Christine Sloan, TV 1055. Westchester and Rockland Congresswoman Nita Lowy is urging the House to vote on a $1.9 billion Zika emergency funding bill the president requested. The U.S. Senate has already passed that. Now to a developing story. A house explosion leveled a home in northern Connecticut, sending seven people to the hospital. It happened this afternoon in the town of Vernon that's just east of Hartford. Seven people were inside the home at the time of the blast. Three were found outside. Four others, including a young child, had to be pulled from the home. No word on the victim's conditions. The cause of the blast remains under investigation. A commuter alert in New Jersey. Only one lane is open at this hour, southbound 287 in Oakland. And look at the flames there from a fiery tractor trailer crash. The truck hit the guardrail and burst into flames at the start of this evening's rush hour. Drivers faced miles of delays. Joe Beerman telling us at 1.8 miles of delays, the truck driver did escape with minor injuries. New information, a 60-year-old American woman stabbed to death at a popular London tourist spot. The attack happened last night in London's Russell Square. Police say a 19-year-old teenager is responsible. Five others were injured in the attack, including another American. The victim was the wife of a Florida State University professor teaching there for the summer. Police believe the suspect was mentally ill and he was not carrying out a terror attack. President Obama says don't be fooled by the spate of lone wolf terror attacks around the globe. He says we are in fact winning the war on ISIS, forcing the group from its key strongholds. ISIL turns out not to be invincible. They're in fact inevitably going to be defeated. But we do recognize at the same time that the situation uh, is complex. Uh, the president made his remarks during a press conference this afternoon at the Pentagon. He also disputed reports the U.S. secretly paid Iran $400 million in ransom for four American hostages. President Obama says the money transfer was previously disclosed and simply part of the Iran nuclear deal. Donald Trump attacked the president today over the money given to Iran. Trump was on the road trying to rebuild some of his support that's been eroding over the past week. TV 1055's Jessica Moore has the latest. At a town hall in Portland, Maine Thursday afternoon, Donald Trump slammed the Obama administration for paying $400 million to Iran at the same time American hostages were released. I think it's so sad and so disgusting. And you also wonder about a government who could approve a thing like that. Would they take cash into a country and just hand it to them? Trump claims there's video of the exchange. And you know why the tape was given to us? Because they want to embarrass our country. Because we have a president who's incompetent. Hillary Clinton fired back at Trump saying he says one thing and does another. He has cheated contractors. I take that personally. My father was a small businessman. And he got contracts, and if he'd showed up after having done all the work, printed the fabrics for the draperies that were going to be made, and told, as Trump told, countless small businesses, I'm not going to pay you. I don't know what would have happened to our family, but I've met people who were destroyed by Donald Trump. So take a look at what he's done, not what he says. Republican vice presidential nominee Mike Pence argued Trump is the better choice. When Donald Trump becomes president of the United States of America, we're going to cut taxes, repeal Obamacare, unleash the extraordinary, unboundless potential of the American people, and we're going to put the American people back to work. A new CNN poll shows Clinton ahead of Trump in three key states, Michigan, Pennsylvania, and New Hampshire. Hampshire, with a 10-point advantage among registered voters across the country. Are Republican insiders concerned about Trump's ability to stay on message and unite the party? I think some of what Trump has done is just very self-destructive. This week, Trump refused to endorse John McCain and Paul Ryan in their primaries. Speaker Ryan hitting back this morning during a radio interview in Wisconsin saying, quote, the only endorsements that I want are those of my own employers here in the first congressional district. And that's really what my focus is. Speaker Ryan called Trump's actions, quote, beyond the pale and said his endorsement of Trump is not a blank check. Well, coming up, a firefighter takes heat for an Instagram post. What he wrote about the Dallas police attack that could cost him his job.
people who do that are just horrible people. They should not be uh, doing those kinds of things. Danger on a popular trail in New Jersey, booby traps with sharp nails and wires found hidden in the dirt. Who would do such a thing? Also, coffee, you either love it or hate it. Most people love it. Turns out your metabolism may have something to do with it. Lonnie. Well, just a great looking day out there today, Dick. And I got to tell you, all week long, we've been hinting at the idea that maybe Friday night could be a bit of rain. Let's update that after the break. On the next Two Broke Girls. I think she got that at a Kim Kardashian backyard sale. Does it bother you when Deke talks about other girls with you like you're a guy? Not as much as it bothers me when you talk to me like I'm a girl. Pastry school is heating up. I think I have feelings for Deke. I always ruin friendships. I've been trying to ruin ours since you moved in. And Max is feeling needy. Have you ever had sex with a friend? Are you two gonna do it? Next. New Jersey police are trying to figure out who left dangerous booby traps hidden along a well-known hiking trail. And these traps, some of them made of nails, others with barbed wire, were found at High Mountain Park in Passaic County. TV 1055's Hazel Sanchez has more from Wayne. Rohit Sharma takes a run with his dogs in High Mountain Park in Passaic County nearly every day. He's sickened to find out someone has been placing booby traps on trails used by hikers, mountain bikers, and pets, clearly with the intention to do harm. People go uh, to these trails to seek peace and solitude um, away from the uh, urban environment, so to speak. And people who do that is just horrible people. Police say in late June, a frequent hiker began discovering wooden boards pegged with screws and nails hidden under leaves and dirt, barbed wire strung across pathways, and broken bottles placed along hiking trails. I think someone is sick to take the time to walk through those tracks and put things that would destroy people or their property. That person needs to be accountable, held accountable. Police say they're depending on the countless people who frequent the park to find who's responsible. What we're looking for is if anybody saw anything suspicious, people carrying things in, carrying things out. It's just terrible. I, I can't imagine that someone would want to hurt people, or in this case, it looks more like animals. Lewis Walden and his dogs take weekly hikes in High Mountain Park, but now he's nervous. My dogs need to run, so mm -hmm. I'm reluctant to come, only to see when you see something like that, do I want to come back? And maybe that's what whoever's doing this wants you to do, but I just have to be careful and watch. So far, no one has been hurt, but with 1,200 acres to explore, there's no guarantee every trap has been found. In Wayne, New Jersey, Hazel Sanchez, TV 1055. Police are asking park visitors to report any problems or disputes they may have had with anyone they encountered on that hiking trail. Emergency responders searched a jet plane at JFK after a suspicious powder was found on board. The incident began around 9 this morning. Flight 201 was leaving for Fort Lauderdale when the crew spotted the substance. Passengers were taken off the plane and police began an investigation. Tests for toxic, uh, toxic or hazardous material came back negative. A canine search determined no other dangerous substances were found on board. Worries about Long Island Sound have Governor Cuomo taking on Washington. He wants to decades of dredging to finally stop. And he's not alone. TV 1055's Jennifer McLogan has the story. Fisherman Thurman Bryant is watching what he calls the decline of Long Island Sound as excavators dredge, silt, and muck. It basically displaces the fish from their like the natural habitat. It's a busy day at Port Jefferson Harbor for those who love Long Island Sound. We have to make sure that we take care of it and still, you know, it could exist for my kids and their kids. The Keegan family just took the ferry from Connecticut and was surprised to see open water dumping of dredged materials as they passed. Describe what the dredging looks like right now out there. Uh, it's dirty. And that's the worry and complaint from those who live on or make a living from the majestic waterway. A controversial 30-year plan to continue dumping dredged soil, sand, and sediment into Long Island Sound was just approved by the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers and the Environmental Protection Agency. We consider Long Island Sound an extension of our home. It's our front yard, it's our backyard, but it's not our junkyard. 
Environmentalists say studies show sludge pulled from the bottoms of harbors, inlets, and rivers, which allow cargo ships to safely pass, can contain mercury, lead, and pesticides, harming marine life and water quality. Today, Governor Andrew Cuomo and an assembled group of lawmakers from both sides of the aisle threatened to sue to stop the dumping. And if that includes legal action to stop the federal government, that is exactly what we will do because this cannot happen period. No response yet from the EPA. The governor is urging it find a different way to dispose of the muck, use it to restore wetlands or cap landfills. From Sunken Meadow State Park, Jennifer McLogan, TV 1055. Sigh of relief tonight for some in the path of Hurricane Earl. The storm has been downgraded to a tropical storm, but not before it hit Belize. Earl slammed the coast overnight with heavy rain and 80 mile per hour winds. Debris from buildings flattened by the storm littered the beach. Earl is expected to dump a lot of rain in the southern Mexican area through the weekend as the tropical storm crosses the Yucatan Peninsula. Let's hear a little bit more about that and what we have in our area. Another nice day, right? Yeah, about a 10 for me. What do you think, Lonnie? Well, fantastic out yeah. there. You'd love to see this type of weather just continue to roll right through the weekend. A little bit of a glitch out there. I'll talk about that glitch. I do want to quickly touch upon Earl, all right? Earl has always been viewed as a big rainmaker more than a windmaker. As a matter of fact, uh, when it went through portions of the Caribbean, the deaths that it caused were attributed to the rainfall. Uh, a lot of rain. I mean, over a foot of rain at times in some spots. Here's what we see in our area. Boom, great looking sky out there, 72 degrees. If you take a look at the Vortex satellite and radar, we are just fine. Beautiful out there. Everyone's having a great looking night. For your day tomorrow, well, we're going to keep an eye on this front, which is well out to our west. All right, here's Green Bay, stretches from Green Bay down towards Kansas City. And we've been watching this, keeping a very close eye on it all week long, thinking possibly Friday night late could bring us some rain, probably a better chance Saturday. Now it looks like all of the chance is on Saturday. I want to show you how the computer models now view this coming together. This is your Friday. Okay, that's a pretty good looking day. I mean, this is 1030 p.m. And it's not even the cloud cover that's overwhelmed the area yet. I believe these clouds with the rain chances will eventually take over. I think maybe more so for portions of your day on Saturday, but not so much tomorrow. Tomorrow's a great finish to this week. 84 degrees, good looking sky overhead. You'll see late p.m. clouds come into the air. Now, when I say late p.m. clouds, I mean 10 o'clock at night or later at that point. As far as clouds coming into an area, I mean, unless it's you're viewing some celestial visions up top. The clouds moving at night. What do you really care? You get a good looking day tomorrow and some clouds at night. We'll talk about Saturday and that rain chance a little bit later. Dick and Dan, let's go over to you. Thank you, Lonnie. <laughs> See you later. All right. The Hamptons is where the so-called A-listers flock each summer and onlookers are anxious to get a glimpse of their favorite stars. So where are the celebrities really hanging out? TV 1055's Jill Nicolini reveals where they've been spotted. What celebrities have you seen here? J-Lo was here taking a picture there in that door. I've uh, seen Justin Bieber the other day. He was around Kmart. They're the best restaurants here. Beautiful beaches, gorgeous streets, and privets. Hamptons is just the most beautiful place on earth. Editor-in-chief of Hamptons Magazine, Samantha Yanks, says you have the best chance of spotting a Hollywood starlet while they are dining out. I would say the hottest restaurant for celebrities across the Hamptons is Nick and Tony's, without question. Hilary and Alec Baldwin, frequent guests. Sir Paul McCartney was there the other day having a little vegetarian treat. The manager of this Italian restaurant is tight-lipped about her patrons, and we heard Jeff Gordon was just there too. We treat them the way we treat other people. If people want privacy, we respect it. Sag Harbor is just the most beautiful town on the water, and of course, Billy Joel has just made the town so famous as a homeowner there. This is Long Wharf Marina. It's actually the deepest on the east end. That's why the celebrities dock their yachts here to dine out. It's the Unhampton. It's a little quieter than some of the other towns. There's a new restaurant called Dopo La Spiaggia. I was in there the other day and saw Sarah Jessica Parker. What celebrities actually come to your place? We never disclose names, so I guess they feel comfortable to come here. And plus, I like to think that the food is fantastic. In Southampton, the hottest new sushi place is Kozu. Oh, Howard and Beth Stern have been spotted here. And just last week, Kim Kardashian was here. Who are you hoping to run into on the street? Oh, boy, how about Brad Pitt? He would be nice to run into. Who are you secretly on the hunt for? Selena Gomez. Hugh Jackman. You still have a few more weeks until Labor Day to hunt the East End for your favorite celebrity. Jill Nicolini, TV 1055. Dick Brennan, Lonnie <laughs> Quinn. Big, big stars. Maybe we'll see them out C -listers. there. C-listers.
that. Oh, come on. Wow. Don't, don't flatter yourself. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Uh, still ahead. I apologize. Prop yeah, property disaster. You better apologize. This is sad for the people here. How do you rent with this? An abandoned building causing frustration among neighbors, costing landlords money. Why the town is having trouble knocking it down? But first, it's a fitness tracker like no other. The Smart Scale, designed to reveal your body's change. Brother again, and I just can't wait to give him the most amazing.